Time again, Cancer, it's November 2018 and if you were here last month I was talking about Saturn and its restrictive influence on your life. How working with this planet is difficult for most people because our natural reaction or tendency is to, is to resist things that are problematic. We have a tendency to gravitate towards those things we love and we are repelled by those things which hurt us, which are painful. This in the ancient philosophy of yoga is called Raga Dvesha, attraction repulsion. And some of you that have followed me here are aware that uh, my spin on the universe is that it's a, a binary universe. It is a a universe of duality, up and down, in and out, on, off, yes, no, pain and pleasure. So we're talking about this as being a very real component of our lives and actually the motivator, it's the, the primary motivator behind why we do what we do and to a large extent how we become who we become. Um, so how do we deal with this? And this month, I'd like to introduce the principle of Jupiter, the planet of expansion. Because these two planets in the horoscope, the planet of contraction, resistance and pain, really does seem to be the opposite of Jupiter, which is the planet of expansion and spiritual uh, idealism. It is a different type of love to the love that we look at when we talk about the planet Venus. In fact, in ancient Hindu astrology, Venus is called Asura or a demonic uh, planet. Um, and I won't go into too much depth on that except to say that Venus does anchor us to the material world and the sensate organic existence that we identify with. Jupiter's love is a different sort of love. And yeah, this theme is going to run through similarly all of the star signs. But in your case, Jupiter is transiting the fifth house now, Cancer. So what this indicates is you know, children, offspring. It is also the future, according to some astrologers, as opposed to the ninth house, which is the past. And the fifth house is creativity. Um, and to a large extent, some of you may have heard me talking about this in the past as well. This fifth, it's interesting how the fifth house of children is also layered by this fifth house of creativity, speculation. And it's interesting when we look at children in terms of expansiveness. Um, I've often watched my daughter, who's going on six years old, playing. I love to watch children playing because... I note that when they are playing, they are completely and utterly absorbed in the moment. There doesn't seem to be too much going on with respect to worrying about the past or the next moment. There is this pure state of unconditional attention on what is being done. And then over the years, I, <laughs> I, I observed, interestingly, that when I watched musicians, artists, there's a beautiful um, YouTube documentary on Picasso, if you can watch that. You know, incredible artists like Picasso, when they're painting, it's almost like they've reverted back to this childlike state where there's no concern for anything other than the brush stroke. So the question for you now is, are you living your life with rapt attention in this moment, Cancer? I mean, we'll, we'll just don't think about it. So I also say to many of my clients, what's wrong with right now if you don't think about it? This moment is not something that needs superimposition by your rational or intellectual mind and its processes. 
this moment's happening. I'll put it this way. If you fall asleep right now, the moment is still happening. Everything is still happening with the distinct difference that you're not overlaying, you're not superimposing on the moment an idea, a, a deduction, a judgment. And that to me is really the lesson for you right now while Jupiter is transiting this incredible fifth house. Mind you, Venus has now entered into this transit as well. So Venus is moving into a conjunction. That is very, very lucky for you. Now, you may have a slight problem. There's a couple of schools of thought astrologically. And one of them is that Jupiter's transit in the fifth house <laughs> actually makes it blind to that fifth house. In other words, it's a beautiful planet. It gives its influences everywhere else, but it may inadvertently overlook its own position. And maybe that's a bit of a philosophical insight for you. Maybe you're overlooking your own position. Maybe you're overlooking the beauty of this moment, the appreciation and gratitude of this moment, the simplicity of this instant. The transit of Jupiter really, uh, while it is here in this fifth house, really beckons you to bring your attention back and to find that childlike innocence again. I know it's difficult. Your brain is already thinking about all of the things that are wrong with you, the things you did wrong, all of those shameful things and the errors you've made and the big mistakes, the people you've gotten involved with, the bad business decisions. Stop. What's wrong with right now if you don't think about it? Bring yourself back to this moment. Engage yourself in something you enjoy doing. And let yourself swim in that spontaneous creativity for a moment. See where it takes you. That's all I'm asking you. Just explore that. Experiment. Come back next month if you want. We're going to talk more. I want to, I want to pursue some of these philosophical lines that are going to maybe open you up to the potential, the what I call the science of human possibilities within yourself. In the meantime, travel on over to astrology.com.au, my site. Uh, give us a like here. Give us a hand over there. Doesn't cost you any money just to visit it. I'd appreciate that. And also appreciate you coming back next month. Thank you. Bye-bye for now.